And what we're doing today is we're just talking about CVs because CVs. we're going through a lot of CVs at the moment. Which yeah, is so first of all, fantastic. thank you for getting in contact with us. CVs are coming through. So as Tam says, we're shifting through those. So that's yeah. great. So uh, yeah, really good response from adverts and stuff like that. So that's good. Yeah, really okay. But obviously, as we're seeing more CVs, we've got more comments. So yeah. what do you want to talk about, Tam? Um, just about uh, your actual CV. So if you can pop a photo of yourself on your CV, because the first yeah. thing that a recruiter will do is go and look for you on Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn. Make sure that you've got all your links in there. For example, if you are on LinkedIn, make sure that that's there so that yeah. people can find you quicker. Nice and professional. Geographically, where you're located, don't just put Nottingham, put what part, because if you're like West Knot, it's easier we know exactly where we're going to place you in a job where you're going to go for interview um so anything yeah, that, else that's really important because i like just saying nottingham it's quite a largest uh, city so actually some people are only prepared to travel half an hour so yeah if you live in hotnell sort of, you might not want to travel exactly to that. ruddington yeah good example that's a really good example yeah. Tam. well done good thank geography. you thank you yeah. um that's that's probably about it so make sure I your social media is clean as well exactly Facebook that. nice and Instagram. professional good photographs etc make sure LinkedIn's synchronized with your dates as well because someone might yeah. just uh, I mean I had that this morning where I looked at someone on LinkedIn before calling them and the dates were very different to the dates on their CV mm -hmm. so you've just got to make sure there's gonna you don't want to give anyone any future employer any question marks about you and your yeah. experience etc so that's really good um, my sort of advice is read your CV first before you send it out so it might be you know it might be a couple of years since you've uh, actually updated your CV so don't just bolt on your most recent job because you will need to sort of read through it so your hobbies might have changed uh, you might have gained some new uh, qualifications etc and actually you know reduce your CV we don't want it over five pages it doesn't need to be like big lengthy statements about what you do it just needs to be bullet points it needs to be to two pages max because you've got to treat a cv like an interview so the first two minutes are super important someone's not going to spend you know forever reading your cv so you've just got it on page one it's got to be a really good snapshot on you so nice photo good sort of profile objective key skills and experiences and then down to evidence of that so by the time they get to the bottom yeah. of page one they've done that in like a minute yeah. and it's really really good so what was you going to say there, Tom? Um, when you say evidence, quantify it. So if you've done valuations from quarter of a how million many? up to a million, how many yeah. you did? Did you do five a day? Yeah. What's your conversion rate? Uh, so just quantify it. Put some figures in there. I think so. Yeah, just take time because, I mean, you know, you want to get the right job. You want to come across really sort of credible and good. Um, therefore, you can sort of negotiate better as well. Um, I mean, I've seen some CVs this week with just job titles, not even like any detail about what they're doing. So not everyone, you know, you might be a property manager in one job, in one company, but it might be totally different in another. So you've got to really stipulate what you are doing, what your skills are, what your experiences are as well. And also make sure it's in the correct tense as well, because I noticed on another CV I've looked at three jobs ago, uh, the statement was in my current role, I do. Well, it's not your current role, it's three jobs ago. So mm. you don't want any of these errors. And also you wanna make sure you put capitals where you need capitals, not baby letters, etc. So make sure Lowercase. grammatically <laughs> <laughs> it looks right. And it, you know, and, and you've got all your spellings right as well. Some oh, real gosh. basics, but certainly spend time. You know, if you want us to check your CV before it goes Get out. Mike to check it. Yeah. Yeah. We can check your CV. Yeah. Free. Yeah, great. <laughs> Fabulous. Good. Okay. So yeah, if you do need any help, get in contact. With me yep. on zero triple seven nine six five nine oh nine five or if you prefer to talk to Tam. Yeah, O Triple Seven Double Three One Hundred Eight Five. See ya.